Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a plus sign before a number in Excel. Now you can add a minus sign and it will stay there. But as soon as you add a plus sign, it would go away because Excel considers that as redundant. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really simple method to add a plus sign before a number. Let's get started. Here I have the data for these 10 stores and I have the numbers for 2020 and 2021. And this is the change in these two values. Now you can see that if it is a negative number, there is already a minus sign before that. But in front of uh, positive numbers, there is no plus sign. And this is because Excel considers plus sign to be redundant. If a number is positive, it does not need a plus sign to say that it's positive. Uh, so here in case, let's say I type plus 100, then it would automatically remove this. And this happens with leading zeros as well. If I type, let's say 00100, Excel would remove the leading zeros because it considers these as redundant. Now, in this case, what if I still want a plus sign in front of the positive numbers? So to do that, I would have to change the format of these cells. I would first select this data. I would go to the home tab and here in number group, I would click on this small dialog box launcher. And when I do that, it opens the format cells dialog box. Now you can do the same thing by using a keyboard shortcut control one. So hold the control key and press the one key. And it again opens the same format cells dialog box. Now, as of now, you can see that the format is general, which means that any kind of data that is in these cells, the format that is applied is general. And in general, a negative uh, number gets a minus sign, a positive number does not get a plus sign, the zeros are shown as zeros and text values are shown as text values. Now in a cell, you can specify the format for these four types of data, a positive number, negative number, zero and text value. So in this case, I would specify the format for the positive number and specify that it needs to have a plus sign. So here I would again hold the control key, press the one key. I would click on custom and I would change this format. Now for positive numbers, I want a plus sign. So I would type plus and then zero. And then I would separate this format with the other the format for the negative number with a semicolon. So I've specified the format for positive number. For negative number, I want negative sign and then minus sign and then zero. And for zero, I just want zero. And I don't need to specify anything for text. It would be shown as is anyway. So this is my format that I'm using now when I click OK. You can see instantly the negative numbers remain as is because I've specified the minus sign and the positive numbers get this plus sign here. Now, in this case, this does not change the value of the cell. It only changes the way it is being displayed. So the value in this cell is still 35. You can use this number in calculations in formulas and the plus sign is only to be displayed to the user. It is not there as a part of the value in the cell. So this is one way you can add plus sign in front of uh, a positive number. Another example where you may need to do this is when you have phone numbers. And here I have the customer care number of a telecom company here in India. So these are publicly available numbers and not breaching anyone's privacy. Now in these numbers, what if I want to add plus nine one before these numbers? See what happens when I try and do that. I add plus nine one and that number that plus goes away. I'm still just uh, left with the number with nine one. So in this case, if I want to add plus nine one, what I can do is change the format. So I would select these. I would hold the control key and press the one key. And in custom number format, I can add a plus sign here. So I would simply say plus and then zero. So it, a zero would represent the entire number in the cell and plus sign would add the plus sign here before these numbers. So now when I click OK, you can see a plus sign is added. Now I can come to any cell and I could just, just type plus nine one. So nine one is the country code and then the number. Now in this case, uh, I have a specific country code, the same country code for all these numbers. So instead of typing it manually, I can also add it as a part of my custom number format. So in this case, let me remove this nine one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the custom number format in such a way that it shows plus nine one in front of all these numbers. So again, I would hold the control key and press the one key, go to custom. And here, instead of plus zero, I'm going to change this to plus nine one and then zero. And you can see in the sample, in the preview here, it shows me how the result would look like if I click OK. You can see plus 91 is added to all these numbers. And the number, the actual value in the cell, would still remain the actual number that was there. Plus 91 is only the formatting part of it. Now, if you want to format it further, then again, you can change this. I go to custom and here, 
after 91 i can add a dash so it's clear that the number part is separate and the country code is separate and now when i click ok you can see it says plus 91 dash 9810198101 the actual value again is only the number this is the this is how we have used custom number format to add a plus sign and the country code because it was same for all these cells so this is how you can use custom number formatting to change the way values are shown and add a plus sign in front of positive numbers in excel that's it in this video i hope you found this useful also if you're liking these videos please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new excel tips video i come up with thank you and have a nice day